Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I'm going to show you how to make a note card and envelope mini album and it's using a pack of note cards. I happen to have these in my stash. I have no idea where I picked them up um, but you can grab a set of note cards from the Dollar Tree or just about any like Target, Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, any place. They can be just solid color like mine is just craft color or you can buy the ones that have the pattern you know like thank you cards or whatever the general note cards you can use any style this happens to be an eight card set but there's only six cards and six envelopes left in here so that's what I'm going to make this little mini album from the cards and the envelopes make up the little pages in the mini album I will link down below the channel that I watched the tutorial on. I just wanted to bring it to you on for my viewers. I just think it makes such a cute little album and a fun little mini album to swap in like Happy Mail swaps. So let's get started. What you need of course is your pack of note cards. You need a paper trimmer, some glue, you need some scrapbook paper. I'm going to be using this Happy Fall Hot Buy paper pad from Michaels. I, I think I've had this a couple years now, but any kind of fun paper pad you, you want to use or scrapbook paper that you have in your stash. Of course, I'm going to do mine for a fall theme since that's the holiday or time of year coming up. And then any embellishments or ribbons, trims, things like that that you want to gather you you know gather those as well today I'm going to show you how to make the little book and then I'm going to decorate it for you in fast forward so the first thing you need to do is take your note cards take all your envelopes and you want to seal them up So just go ahead and glue or lick and seal all your envelopes up. I went ahead and did that to all of mine. Now you need to save five of them for the pages and then the sixth one you're going to save to make the hinges for the book. So put that aside for now. You're going to take your paper trimmer and you're going to trim off the top longer edge of your envelope just a little sliver just to make it into a pocket and do that on all five of them Now the next thing you want to do is fold each one of your envelopes in half the long ways. to take your sixth envelope and you're going to cut one inch strips going with your longer edge of your envelope up at the top so these are going to make the hinges and go ahead and cut as many of those as you can you need six I believe Now what you want to do is fold each of these in half the long ways. 
And if you'd like to use your score, your scoring tool, you can do that. For each of those one inch strips, you're going to want to cut them in two so you have two strips. And so you end up with at least 12 strips for hinges. Now pull in your cards. Start with one of the cards here. This is going to be the cover of your album. You're going to lay it down. Pull in one of your envelopes, making sure that the cut edge is along the top and you're going to glue one of your hinges down onto the envelope. Just like this. Line up the crease right at the crease of the envelope there. And then you're going to glue this edge onto your card. And you can place this anywhere along the card, but I'm going to put mine in the center. And now take another one of your hinges and you're going to glue that on top of this. With the crease, of course, lined up with the other creases. And then you're going to add glue to this side of the hinge. Take another one of your cards and line it up, making sure that it is all lined up with the other card. Pull in another hinge and we're going to do the exact same thing and go through all of the envelopes and the cards until we've used them all up. I may have an extra hinge in here, but go ahead and do that.
With everything glued together, you want to set this aside and let it dry completely before moving on to the next step. And I'm actually going to put, since I used wet glue, I'm going to put some books on top of this or something heavy to make it so that it doesn't bow from the water and the glue. And I will be back here in a second. And through the magic of YouTube vision, I am back and it's only been a few seconds. So everything is dried up here. As you can see, I have my little book made and if there's any kind of glue residue or anything like that, it's all going to be covered up with your scrapbook paper so you don't have to worry about that. The next thing that I want to do with this my front cover I want to make into a side pocket so I'm going to go ahead and glue two of the sides down. Just run a little line of glue at the top and the bottom. do that on the back as well. So then you can add in extra cards or pictures or journaling tags, things like that. So now your book is all ready to start decorating. Now what you want to do is pick out your papers that you want to use, go ahead and cut them to size. Depending on what size card you have, this card is, let's see, it is a five by five by seven. So I will cut my papers a little bit smaller than that, like four and three quarters by six and three quarters. I will cut one piece for each side at that size, and then I will cut one piece for each side of my envelope at, it would be a half of the five by seven, a little bit smaller than that. So I will go ahead and do that and I will put you on fast forward. It's pretty much just covering the pages as you want with whatever card, whatever paper that you'd like, whatever theme you have, and then adding embellishments, adding a tie to it. I'm going to add a cover on my spine here just to cover up this part. You could leave it if you'd like. It's just whatever up to you. You can do endless things with this. And then add in tags, add in die cuts, stickers, embellishments, and chunk it up to send as a Happy Mail little gift. So I went ahead and cut all of my papers. The larger ones I cut out 18 pieces and they were four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then for the envelope pieces, those were three and a half by four and three quarters. I went ahead and added an extra pocket. The card that is in the very center, I made that a pocket like I made the cover pieces. So that took away two pieces of paper that I would have needed to cover. But I wanted that additional pocket in the center just to add more goodies. And then I cut out this piece from the paper collection, added a piece of rust or orange colored cardstock, cardstock to go behind it, and that's going to go on, on my cover. Before I add my pieces though, I want to add my spine piece. And what I did was I cut out a piece that is it was actually one of the scraps, so it's, it was already cut at four and three quarters. No, six and three quarters because it was off of one of those pieces. And it is two and a half inches wide. Now my spine is three quarter inches wide. 
So I'm going to score this. I'm gonna line up my piece here at the three quarter inch mark and I'm going to fold it at that spot. Now you could score it on a scoreboard or just use your trimmer. That's what I'm doing here because I don't have my scoreboard out and I'm just going to score it. I don't even have my scoring tool. I'm just going to use my scissors and go down and then line it this way at three quarter inches and that will give us that three quarter inches in the middle. Well, no, actually move it on over to that inch mark and that will give us our three quarter inches. And then go ahead and fold it over. So you could trim this or just leave it since it's a quarter inch longer. Doesn't really matter because you're going to be covering most of it up with your papers on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this on here just like that. Leave those to the side there. Now what you want to do is start gluing all of your pieces on and then after that you can add all the embellishments. If you want to put a, some sort of tie in here in between, you can do that and I'm going to do that. I just need to go get my ribbon or whatever I'm going to use. I haven't decided yet. But you just glue a piece in there and then put your cover piece on and that will leave a tie or you could just have a longer piece of ribbon to tie around the whole entire thing. All right, so I completed gluing all my papers in. I went ahead and I added pockets. I added some of the cut-aparts. I made some tags 
and put in some journaling cards in the pockets. I also die cutted some leaves and added those in here. And before I complete the front cover with you, I wanted to flip through it so you can see it. And so that I won't mess up the front when I'm doing that. But here it is. I think it turned out really cute. So here is some of the tags there. I used a tag die that I had. If I can find a link for the, that tag die, I will. It's, a, it's one that is a nesting die. So I added the tags. I added some ribbons onto the tags. This one's a little tuck spot that I made with the leaf. So I stuck a couple of the a leaf and a cut apart there. Now this is a mini album, so I didn't want to decorate it too much because I wanted my swap, the gal I'm sending this to in my swap group to be able to have space to put her own pictures and things like that. But I did do like a belly band here, put a cut apart, and this pocket is just one of the journaling cards, and then there's a tag there. So, and I added these little cut aparts throughout, and yeah, I think it turned out really, really cute. Now, what I did after I did all my gluing, I sat it underneath two really heavy books, a couple of my daughter's yearbooks, so that it would flatten everything out, and it just, I think that using the wet glue makes it really sturdy as well but you do need to keep it under something flat really a heavy flat thing so that it doesn't curl up and there's the back so to finish this off I'll go ahead and tie it here I added some ribbon to the cover To finish this off, I'm just going to do some layering of things. I went through my scraps, and so I'm going to glue this little piece down. And then I decided to go with just a scrap piece of what was in the collection. I had that other piece of cardstock, but I didn't like the color of it after putting everything together. So I just found a piece of the orange. I didn't have a full sheet of this, or I would have used that. going to glue everything down here I love just adding all kinds of layers of the paper it just gives it so a lot of dimension and I will link these leaf dies down below as well Offhand, I can't remember which brand it was. It was either Spellbinders or Sizzix.
add this little memories cut apart. buttons that I'm going to put down here. So there it is. I hope you love this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment and subscribe. I'd love to see any that you make in the future. If you want to post it on Instagram and tag me, I am at Creative Crafticality. Love to see what you make. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.